Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week we're doing our weekly oracle card guidance and we're using the Tao oracle. So I'm not reading these cards uh, with the view to the I Ching. Um, I will do that perhaps at a later stage, but for today's purposes, I'm simply going to channel a meaning for the cards and read what is on the cards for you. So we have three options here. We have this incense holder, we have the laughing Buddha, and we have this little um, decorative thing here. Go ahead, make your selection, and you can go directly to your reading using the timestamp. Thank you and many blessings to all of you. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, what is it that you need to know this week? And what is your guidance as we go along? What is your guidance as you go along? And what is it that you've come here to hear? I go with this. The card here is the number 27 and it's the corners of the mouth. It talks about nourishment, health, well-being, providing for others, creating balance, nurturing the body, mind and spirit. I feel that this card is not the only card that you that needs to come out for you. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle again and and see what else comes out here. And so the other card we have drawn is the number seven, it's discipline. It talks about exerting authority, defining it's time to take the bull by the horns and creating a strategy and mobilizing forces. So I feel that this card is very much talking about how you would spend the next two to three weeks, not just this week or not just this time. It talks about a certain phase in your life which requires you to... Um, take a different course of action than you have been taking already. It talks about taking time to actually nurture oneself and actually look at what your own needs are, what your own physical needs are, what your body is requ requires at this moment. Take care to feel exactly what you are feeling, to be aware of what you are feeling, not from an emotional point of view, but from your body. What are the things that are a little bit out of sorts in your body right now? Or what? where is it that you need balancing? Take a look at your tongue. Take a look at, as it says here, the corners of your mouth. But also look at, you know, your various uh, bodily functions to determine whether everything is in balance or whether there is any need that um, needs to be taken care of. You might already have a sense of what actually needs to be taken care of. You might have already um, observed that you may have some problems with that your digestive system or some other system. You know, perhaps it's your your sinuses or your ears or um, something. Okay, I am not saying this because you need to look for problems in your system, but simply to identify where there is balance required. Because you might find that you are lacking something. You may be lacking some trace elements or vitamins or you may actually be requiring simply rest in order for your body to be able to come into balance by itself. There is an indication here that you also may be burning the midnight oil and perhaps more rest is simply necessary. Perhaps you've been exerting yourself or perhaps you're just outside of your normal routine. And so bringing yourself back into your so the, your your desired your body's desired circadian rhythm is actually going to allow you to heal itself here it talks also about bringing discipline into your life at the moment and in order to be able to create this you need to have discipline discipline is what supports this process oh sorry for shaking this tripod what is actually referred to here is that in order for you to take the next steps or in order for you to make the progress that you is desired in your life, in order for you to benefit as you would like to, 
it is necessary to take better care of your health. It is necessary to form some kind of routine which allows you to maintain that you are taking care of your health, that you're bringing things into balance. So are you eating healthily? Are you eating enough fresh uh, foods? Are you uh, moving enough? Are you actually meditating enough? Are you bringing all that you have into balance, mind, body and spirit. And how are you doing this? How are you going about doing this? Are you doing this just once off? Or are you maintaining it? Have you actually gotten a routine for yourself in which you are maintaining that all these parts of your life are taken care of? The message here also speaks about being able to ensure that you are putting aside the time that you need to be able to take care of this but it also speaks of not just doing that, but also maintaining every aspect of your life. So it's not only okay if you do lots of exercise and if you're not eating very well. It's not okay if you're eating very well and doing lots of exercise and not actually taking care of your spirit, not taking care of, of things uh, so you, that are related to your soul. So where is it that you need to be able to, to, to take care of your soul? What is it that you need to be doing? You know, perhaps there's chanting, perhaps there's drumming, perhaps there's simple meditation. It could be anything, whatever you desire, whatever you feel you need right now. There are so many different ways and forms in which one can express one's spirituality. Or one can feed one's soul, rather, because this is not so much, it's not about religion and it's not about a prayer necessarily. It's simply about feeding the soul. It's simply about getting the soul to sing. So how is it that you're going to get your body to sing, but also your soul to sing and also your mind in a state of calm so that your mind is also singing and not in any uh, anxiety, stripping away any kind of nervousness that you have, the, anything that's causing you stress, understimulating yourself so that you can hear what it is that you need to hear from within you, not just hearing what is coming from outside of you. I'm hearing here that it requires a lot of discipline to be able to put this into place. It requires a lot of, of hard work to force yourself to do this, but it's really necessary for you to do so. For some of you, you may be having colds or the flu or some kind of ill health at the moment. If you are having that, have faith that that too shall pass and do what it is what is necessary for you to take care of yourself so if you have the tendency to be sick and but not to take um, measures to actually make yourself better this message is especially for you do take those measures to make yourself feel better and to make yourself recover quickly there's also the sense here that um, a lot of the work that you could be doing right now with yourself can actually take place at night when there's quiet and when there are not too many distractions around you. So for some of you that might not just be at night but it might be uh, during a time in which you're not you're not distracted so you don't have work related matters or family related matters that are pulling you in different directions. This is a time that you need to put aside for yourself in order to take care of you and whether it requires rest or whether it requires meditation or whether it requires some kind of movement, some kind of exercises, this is necessary at this time. So that is your message for this week and I hope that it actually resonates with you and um, I want to say again that it feels like it's a course of action, like it needs to take place between like 21 days and 40 days or something like this. So if you it may, perhaps it's about maintaining a routine. Perhaps it's about enforcing a new uh, way of, of relating to yourself during this time. So go ahead and um, try try that and see what comes from it. Okay, I wish you all the best and I hope that you are keeping safe and you are staying well and um, many, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to know at this time? What is the message that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear right now? And we have the card number 22 of Grace. It talks about adornment, bringing out beauty, elegance, the outer as a reflection of the inner, vanity, charisma, self-expression. So the feeling I'm getting with this card is that you may have been somebody who was quite expressive in your past or you may have been somebody who actually um, 
was prone to expressing yourself. But it's as if you've stopped that. It's as if you've given that a break or you you feel like you've changed and you don't need to express yourself in that way any longer. And this card is talking about playing with that again. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're becoming that person again that you used to be, but playing with the idea of actually adorning certain a certain look or um, using per, perhaps jewelry that you've used in the past or perhaps certain uh, items of clothing that you've worn in the past or, um, you know, a bandana or some kind of hats that you may have used in the past. Whatever it is, whatever it is that actually... Um, does not define you right now but has the potential to define you or has been a part of your life or could be a part of your life it's asking that you allow that to be allow yourself to take the time to actually create a new look for yourself allow yourself to create um to create something that other than what you are it feels to me like there could be some room for more joy and more lightness and more fun and more um, happiness in your look and a more of an expression of who you are in your look. So you don't need to hide away is what this card is also saying. You don't need to look like the others. You don't need to hide away from the world by blending in. You actually can go ahead and express yourself in the way in which you are being drawn to. If you feel drawn to this message, then go ahead and, and try out some clothes that you haven't tried out in a while or try out some jewelry that you haven't or put on some makeup that you haven't used in a while or um, a tr try, you know, out different hats or whatever it is that makes you feel like a different person but yourself within that look. OK, so that's the one message. I feel like there's another message in here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually draw another card for you today. So the question we're asking is, what else do the people who have chosen this option here, number two, need to hear at this moment? What else do the people who have chosen the option number two need to hear at this moment? And we have the number one card, and it's called Creative. The active yang principle, strength, tenacity, dynamism, inspiration, heaven, masculinity, authority, and father. Okay, so this card, it feels like it really matches this one here because in order to be able to go ahead and have the courage to be who you truly are or play with different looks, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is truly who you are. It might simply be that you want to play with a certain look. It means that you need to be able to have the courage to do that. It means that you need to be able to say stop to others and, uh, and actually explore who you really are in yourself and have the courage to be able to do that because sometimes a certain role or a certain way of being is expected from you and one is not able to explore anything beyond that one is not able to move beyond that to be able to uh, to to have the courage to be oneself and this card's actually talking about embarking upon that and having the courage to be able to do that having the courage to be able to stand your own ground and be yourself and not be concerned about what others think about you or how others will find you if you've taken a certain action it's you're they're saying go ahead and choose what it is that you desire and how it is that you wish to represent yourself and how it is that you are going to operate from now onwards it's almost like saying that you know there's a certain way there's a certain path ahead of you and are you going to have the courage to be able to walk that path and if so well then put all your energy around uh, uh, behind that around that and actually push forth and be that person that you want to be be that person that you have never want that you've never tried to be before and allow yourself to to bring out that the best in you, to bring out that the beauty in you, to bring out a part of you that you perhaps have been too shy to show to the world before, or you've been afraid to show to the world because you've been afraid of what their reactions would be. And this is to say, well, no, I'm not going to take on their reaction. I'm actually just going to be myself. And it doesn't matter what 
anyone has to say about it. I'm going to be myself. And I feel that all of this is done in the, in the spirit of fun and it's done in the spirit of, of joy and happiness and just having uh, and laughter and just really having a lot of fun. It's not it's not anything heavy. It's not anything that's um, that's dragging you down in any way. It's simply saying, OK, well, I'm going to play a bit and I'm going to try out a different look. I'm going to try out a different way of being with those around me and and with myself and then see what comes from that. And it feels uh, I said this, I think, for the other uh, reading as well, but I feel that this uh, this message will last like two to three weeks. It feels like a path ahead. It feels like a time ahead, a time frame of about three weeks here. So I hope that message actually resonates with you. And I hope that this, this message helps you. And I wish you well as you go ahead in the weeks um, ahead. Many blessings to you. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we're asking, what is it that you need to hear this week? Wow, this card um, has fallen out in between the uh, the readings and it's also come out in the first option. So I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to go ahead and choose another card for you because I've done so for the other readings as well. And I feel that this is not the only message for you. Okay, so we have the number seven, it's discipline. And it talks about exerting authority, define to define it's time to take the bull by the horns create a strategy and mobilize forces and then we have the number 33 which is retreat it's a, a timely departure letting go withdrawal reevaluation, retirement don't hesitate to walk away so i feel that this card is actually very similar the meaning for me is very similar to the first option so if you want to go ahead and listen to the first option uh do that but um what it's saying here is that it's it's time to step away. It's time to retreat from the world in order to step out of it, um, which so many of you may be doing because you're in lockdown already. But it's to step down and step away, perhaps from stimulation like media or from excessive um, virtual interaction with friends or family and step away from all of this and take time to understand who you are and what is being, what is, what are you, what is your body trying to tell you right now? And what is your soul trying to tell you right now? Because it's almost like there's a message inside of you that needs to come out. And there's something inside of you that needs to be heard. And it's your own voice that needs to be heard and not the voice of others right now. So if you've been watching a lot of um, the news and you've been listening to a lot of other people, or you've been watching a lot of these readings and you've been listening to a lot of what others are saying, they are saying, well, that's not the way to go. The way to go right now is to listen to your own voice. So take time off from media or from any kind of social interaction and go inward and work with yourself. And as you listen more and more to yourself, you will find that you need to, whatever you need to hear is going to come to the fore. And whatever you require right now, whatever you require in terms of your soul development, in terms of your well-being, is going to come to you during this time. And the only thing that is required here is to have the discipline to be able to walk away, to have the discipline to be able to move away and to be able to step away from the world right now and into yourself. The other message that I'm hearing here is that this is temporary. It doesn't need to be for a long, long time. And it's important to be able to do so in order to be able to make the progress that is required at this moment in order to move ahead. Now, I'm hearing here that if you don't do this, OK, if you actually don't don't do this at all, there are going to be some pearls of wisdom that is sitting inside of you that needs to come to the fore that is simply going to be under the cover. And it's it's like you're going to go ahead and make the same mistakes or do the same things with the same result and not actually progress. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be making mistakes, but that rather that you're not going to be able to progress, that you're not going to be able to um, benefit as much as you would had you taken the time out to be able to retreat from the world and go inward. Now, for some of you, this this experience is not going to be a comfortable experience. It, it could be, excuse my neighbor's dog barking. Um, yeah, but it's not going to be a comfortable experience. What you're going to find is that 
it's possibly going to be quite hard for you. I feel like you'll be, be sweating, you know. I feel like it will be uh, really tough for you to be able to step away from it. But it requires discipline and force and to be able to enforce this. I'm also hearing that you don't have to simply go cold on the world. You just simply don't have to go dry or cold. You don't have to just step away and stop altogether. You need to be able to form a strategy in which you re retreat. You don't need to change from one day to the next because then you are more likely to step back into your old ryth rhythms and routines if you do that. So be gentle, take it easy and allow yourself to simply find a path towards where you need to be in the next while. And you're going to find that this is a journey which actually brings you closer to who you are and closer to your your understanding of yourself. There is this card here that is of discipline. It's almost like you need to be hard with yourself. But the message here is don't be hard with yourself. Just be gentle in the way in which you gradually draw yourself away from the, from what it is that you need to retreat from. There's another message here as well. And I'm not sure if this will resonate with every one of you. But it's like um, you've flown away from the nest or you've flown away from whatever it is that you need to fly away from. You've actually left the nest. You have moved on and there's no going back for some of you. So this is not something that I'm hearing here as far as what your guidance is for this week, but rather something that they want you to know that you have taken that step and you have actually moved on. And now this is something that there's no going back. And that's actually a good thing because for some of you, for this, for whoever this message is resonating with, it's like you were in a comfort zone or you were hiding away from your true worth or your true power. And the way forward is actually going to give you the space to be who you are. And this is why you need to listen carefully. This is why you need to retreat because you need to actually understand where it is that you need to be going from now onward because the way in which things were as is in the past, it's not going to be like that in the f in the future. And this message is specifically for you. I'm not talking, this is not a universal message, okay? So um, I'm not talking about the, the coronavirus and, and how it's going to impact the world. I'm talking about you ha being able to define a path for yourself, which you haven't been able to do so before because of other influences that you've had in your life, whether it's been your studies or your or people that have been in your life or a certain, a certain culture that you've been immersed in. Whatever it is, now is the time to be able to allow yourself to look forward and not, you don't need to look back anymore. You can actually turn, turn around and look forward and just keep walking, keep going and, and discovering what is ahead of you and what lies there for you. OK, so I hope these messages uh, have resonated with you. They feel quite different to you, um, to the messages that um, that I usually deliver or perhaps they don't to you. I'm not sure. So I thank you all for coming by and I wish you very well as you go along. Please stay safe, stay healthy and be blessed as you go along. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.